Welding or Shield TPV. With the ST10 Water Stop Splicing Table. The ST10 Splicing Table is designed to mechanically weld thermoplastic water stops. Pull the handle lever to the left while depressing the sear to open the table surfaces. Next, move the adjustable clamps to the open position. Now, place the water stop directly in the center of the void created by the locked sear position. Place the appropriate wooden shim stock on the water stop, as shown here, or consult your user's guide for additional shim placements. Return the adjustable clamps to the closed position. Carefully check the water stop alignment by pulling the hand lever to the left. The sear will automatically disengage. Insert the preheated water stop splicing iron into the open slot created by moving the hand lever to the far leftmost position. At this point, the water stop will begin to melt evenly. When the melted bead is a minimum of 3 16 of an inch on each side of the water stop, the iron can then be removed. Remove the iron while moving the hand lever left, and adjoin the water stop halves by moving the hand lever right. Firmly hold the hand lever and open the adjustable clamps on the left side of the table. Engage the sear. Now, open the clamps on the right side of the table. After the initial cooling period, you can carefully remove the joined water stop sections. The ST10 water stop splicing table ships with wooden shim stock, a user's guide, and a toolkit. An optional JP414 Pro water stop splicing iron is shown here. Visit our website for the most up-to-date information.